Two. Camera three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, now it's time for the question and answer session. So, does anyone have any questions for me? I have a question, Lisa. Okay. In the Strauss study, how old were the children in the two different age groups? In the two different age groups, one group was ages between ages two and four, and the other was between five and nine. And these um, age levels are actually important um, mental and behavioral development stages for children, so it was critical to use those um, stages for the study. Thank you. Any other questions? I have one, Lisa. Based on your research, what are good alternatives for spanking? Um, well, there are various um, different other alternatives that you can use for spanking. Some would be um, something like a timeout. Put your child on a timeout and give them time to reflect on you know, their mistakes and what they did. And I would say the most important thing is just making sure that you're talking to your child and letting them know what they did wrong rather than hitting them where they're just being punished, you know, so that's an, an important thing to do. Okay. Thank you. And uh, you gave examples of two studies. How many other studies did you research? Um, I, was, I researched about five or six different studies, and a lot of them basically just coincided with the material I covered today. And one study in particular was a study done by Duke University, and um, it was led by research scientist Lisa Berlin, and that actually coincided with the behavioral aspects of spanking and the relationship to childhood aggression. And that was very um, beneficial and important that I looked at that one because it gave me a lot of material to go off of. Any other questions?